we have some really, really fun fishy recipes coming your way in just a minute. We're going to make um, the cutest ever uh, fishy snack mix. Kids will love it. Adults would like it if you're having a, a you know, you know, adult cocktail party. Just a munch mix with those little goldfish crackers. Just so cute. We'll show you how to make it in just a minute. But first of all, if you do like fish, when's the last time you went to the real traditional Door County fish boil? We found a great one. There are many, many dozens of different restaurants that host fish boils uh, up in Door County, but we found a place that really, you know, sticks to the tradition and and is. The, the boil master there really puts on quite a show. Uh, we're going to check out the traditional fish boil at the old post office restaurant in Ephraim, where again, our boil master Earl is quite the character. Take a look. We have a lot of fun doing these fish boils. It started out um, on Washington Island in uh, 1956 as fly ins, and then they decided, well, Let's try it on the mainland and see how it goes. And uh, they did it up at the Viking Grill in Ellison Bay in 1961. And it just took off like a skyrocket from there. So since 1956 and 1961, uh, there have been approximately eight to about 14 of us doing these fish boils up here at any given time during the evening hours. It's a so-called Door County tradition, and it's also Icelandic in its origin. Uh, before they really started to really get rolling as a commercial business up here, they even used to do it as a, um, uh, a fundraising uh, deal with the churches and uh, the fishermen and the loggers uh, because the fishing business and the logging business was very, very heavy up here uh, uh, many, many years ago, and it was a cheap way of feeding a large group of people. So they decided, well, let's try it and see how everybody else likes it. And, it just took off like crazy from there. The basic uh, meal consists of your lake, fresh Lake Michigan whitefish, uh, your fresh Wisconsin potatoes, and of course, your, uh, usually your Spanish boiling onions. And these ingredients go in at various times. Uh, the whole process takes about 30 minutes. The potatoes go in first with a little less than a quart of salt. And then uh, the potatoes will cook for the full 30 minute term. Along about 17, 18, 19 minutes into the boil, depending on the size, is when we add the onions. If they're larger, they go in a little earlier. If they're a little bit smaller and uh, don't let it require that much time, they go in a little bit uh, later. Uh, once we hit that 20 minute period into the boil though, that's when we add the fish. Because the fish have to cook a full eight to 11 minutes to be done. If we were to cook the fish less than eight minutes, chances are not all the fish would get cooked. But the other side of the coin is cook them too long over that 10 and a half, 11 minute period, especially if you have a rolling boil, and it would only be a matter of a few additional minutes. And we would, oh yes, we would have nothing but mush in the kettle. So the name of the game is, uh, so to speak, is to get the fish in and out within that last 10 or 11 minute period of that 30 minute boil. Uh, you get um, coleslaw, lemon bread, pumpkin bread, zucchini bread, Bavarian rye bread, piece of cherry pie, your beverage, and then you get to listen to me for 10 minutes. We want the people to enjoy themselves when we come up here, and I can tell you this, that just about every business up here uh, goes out of their way and will go out of their way for you to accommodate you in any fashion that they can because we want you back up here. We really need you up here. So you, you don't have to be afraid to uh, come up here uh, and, and enjoy yourself. There's so much to see. There's a lot of free stuff to do up here. Things that don't require money. That I can guarantee you. So how is it? It's delicious. Very good. Yep. What do you like best? The flavor. It's so mild. Very mild. Quite a show. Yeah, it was. It was very interesting, especially the history of the fish boil. What about Earl? He is quite entertaining, isn't he? <laughs> And the food? The food is good. Actually, I'm surprised. I was a little skeptical about coming to a fish boil. She wanted to do it. Uh, but it actually, with the butter and stuff, it almost tastes like having a lobster. It's very good. This is our second time this week. So we go home tomorrow, so we one more time. 